Okay, I'm going to show you how to scale and import DWG files into C Electrical Building Plus. So we're going to start by creating a new project. I'll call it DWG Import Test and I'll overwrite an existing one. I'm going to use the uh, workspace template, installation standard. Now before I create a page in here, I'm going to right click on building installations and show that the properties has a defined page template. Uh, at the moment, it's an A3 scale 50. When we click on that, we can see there's a variety of installation page sizes, um, pretty much all scale at 50. So I'm going to leave that for the moment, but be aware that that is in there. So I'm going to create a new page, click on OK. And just to check, I can right click, go down to page properties, and I can see that the scale is set 1 to 50. That means when we measure things, when we put cables on there, they're all at 1 to 50 scale. So I'm going to go to File, Open, DWG File, and I'm going to choose a DWG file. Now I can bring it straight onto the page, or I can uh, use a DWG editor to look at that information and decide what I want to do with it. So I'm going to use the editor to start with. Click on Open, choose the model view. So once the drawing is there, I need to find out if it's scaled already. So I'm going to zoom in on an area. And I'm going to see what the scaling is already on there. And I'm going to use measure, click on a start point and an end point. And I can see that's saying 5,800 millimeters. Just going to zoom in a bit closer on there. and that's the same scale. So it's been drawn at one to one. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to choose an area that I want to bring into the drawing. So I'm going to go to crop and I'm going to say, I'm going to have this section here. Now, if I'm going to bring this into the, an existing page, I need to scale it down. So I need to scale by a factor of the existing scale on this drawing divided by the scale on the page I'm bringing it into. So at the moment it's one to 50. So if I choose a calculator, just do a quick calculation, current scale over the scale of the page I'm bringing it into. So it's 0 0.02. So I'm going to scale the drawing by 0 0.02. Click on OK. And I'm going to choose insert and close. Now the drawing is still too big for the page. So I think I'll choose a different scale factor. I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to right click and go down to page properties. And here I'm going to change this to a scale of 1 to 200. I'll try the same process again. Open AutoCAD file, select the file and use the editor. I'm then going to crop the drawing to take just the elements I'm interested in. And I'm going to open the calculator and do a simple calculation. 1 divided by 200. I'm going to scale the drawing by that factor. And then insert and close. It's rescaled the page, so I'm just going to right click, go to Page Properties, and just set it back as being 420 by 297. So it now fits on the page without any problems, and I can select what information I want to use and what I don't want to use. Um, an alternative way of working with this, once you've worked out the dimensions, is if I create a new page, click on OK, and go to File open, select the AutoCAD drawing file, and this time I'm not going to use the editor, I'm simply going to delete the contents of the page first as I import it, read all the layer information, and I'm going to put the page scale there so that it scales it as it brings it in. There's a whole variety of advanced settings where I can click and set the fonts that I'm going to be using, I can set the height of the fonts, and I can also set a whole series of extra options for 
uh, excluding empty text, how the hatches are handled, and uh, undisplayed layers. So I click on open, select the model space. Now this is already scaled at 1 to 200, so if I zoom in to an area and I choose draw dimensions between two lines, now this is saying it's 1000 millimeters and in fact it should be 4000. Let me check the properties on the page and indeed it's set to 1 to 500. So if I set that to 1 to 200, I can see that's now the correct dimension information. With this already scaled, I can now use this imported DWG file to copy into further pages. So I can create a new page. And if I wanted, I could change the title block on this one and choose a different size under installations. I could choose maybe A2. And from that previous page, if I zoom out a bit, if I hold down W to force this to be a window selection, I can window select these items, Control C, and Control V to paste it on this page. The advantage with this second method of importing the whole DWG file without using the editor is that we have all of the layer information available. If I just resize this to fit it in and I can select multiple layers and I can see on the right hand side I could freeze these perhaps, click on apply and these layers are now frozen. So you can take the existing information and freeze it so it can't be selected and you can design the electrical installation with your panels and switches without disrupting the existing plans.